Uh, welcome to this short screencast on Polymer Props and Application CES EduPack 2017. Um, previously we've gone through this presentation in class but this screencast should hopefully help to reinforce the information that was presented. So very quickly the learning outcomes were we cap on the limitations of the CES EduPack databases used to date. We want to be introduced to the level 3 polymer databases and quickly outline the first exercise that will utilize the level 3 databases right so what's happened to date well the, what you've been used to today is six introductory databases and mainly level 1 and level 2 um, what was available level 1 60 materials 70 processes level 2 100 materials and 110 processes but the limitations is there's only 29 polymers and elastomeric materials and only eight polymer process so if we take for instance one of the simplest materials of all which is polyethylene and we look down here at polyethylene and the issue there is that there's only one grade of polyethylene highlighted whereas we know from our studies to date that there's a number of different grades of polyethylene so straight away there's a large limitation so we're going to look at polyethylene in further detail at a later stage now let's move on to the level 3 database so we've several sorry six level 3 advanced databases and they're outlined below and the one that we're going to look at mainly for these exercises is going to be the polymer database right what's in the level 3 polymer databases well 3900 materials 240 process and lots of increased information on trade names which is important filler type impact properties chemical resistance and then we also have supplemented by the campus plastics and prospector plastics databases so as i mentioned earlier on now we're going to have a further look at polyethylene and see what further information the level 3 database can give us about polyethylene to start off with polyethylene has the chemical structure as outlined below just ch2 repeat unit and typically in values of 10,000 to 20,000 which will yield molecular weights of between 280,000 and 560,000 furthermore polyethylene is a linear thermoplastic and there's various grades available ranging from low density polyethylene which has a melting point of approximately 108 degrees right up to the ultra high molecular weight polyethylenes which will have molecular weights of three to six million and these materials can't be melted and are used in applications such as hip replacements and there's 11 polyethylene grades within the level 3 polymer database whereas there was only one in the level 2 database and these are outlined below so the within the ces edupack level 3 database there's a lot of information on all these materials so sometimes it can be very difficult to digest all this information if we look at it in tabular form so sometimes the easiest thing to do is to do some comparison graphs and that's what we're going to do at, do now we're going to actually look at the ces edupack software and see how we can generate some graphs within it so here i am within the polymer level 3 database and i've created a custom subset which is only picking up the polyethylene grades and here i have 11 grades of polyethylene so let's have a closer look at a polyethylene low density molding and extrusion grade and here we have a lot of information on that particular material it goes through the typical uses what's its composition as we've touched on before what's its price its density and a lot of the mechanical properties again we can go and look at a different one we we'll say polyethylene cross linked and again all the information is there now this is an awful lot of information to take in so sometimes what we need to do is have a graphical way of representing all this information and we can do that quite simply by going into chart and 
we'll plot, for instance, on the x-axis, we could plot price. And on the y-axis, we go into an advanced database, go into our threes, and plot the various materials. So in this case, molding, wire and cable, glass filled, unfilled, low density, medium density. And when we go in there, now what we've created is a graph of the various polyethylene grades versus price. And we can very simply pull up what the actual materials are and then we can go in and change the color for instance so it's an awful lot easier to see what's happening so here's another graph that i did up and placed into this presentation where we're looking at a plot of polyethylene grade versus tensile strength and again we can see from this graph that the tensile strength will vary between less than 10 megapascals and greater than 60 megapascals. So the grade very much determines what its induced application is going to be. So finally, we're going to look at the first exercise that we're going to do using the level three polymer CES EduPack database. So it's going to be looking at an automotive headlight lens. We're going to need to look at the background initially so the lens of an automobile headlamp protects the bulb and reflector and focus the light where it's most need therefore this project requires the use of the polymer 3 database to select a suitable material for the lens so the objective is as stated earlier so what would the requirements of a headlight lens be well number one needs to be transparent with optical quality we want to be able to injection mold it and injection mold it quite easily. Naturally enough, it has to have good durability in fresh and salt water, good UV resistance, good abrasion resistance, meaning the high hardness. And finally, it needs to be low cost and it needs to be able to be manufactured in very large volumes. So that will lend itself to injection molding. So. Like I said, the next day in class, we're going to look at this first exercise and hopefully come up with materials that would be suitable for this application. Thank you for your time and talk to you later.